Hello, Doug Walker here, and I am going to talk about uh, the artist. And to my voice, I almost lost it this week, uh, so it's still a little, a little squeechy, but uh, hopefully it'll be better by the time I do the NC. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, and I'm really just doing this because there's a bum review up, and really the only reason I did the bum review is because I always wanted to do a bum review silent, you know, sort of as a uh, silent film. So uh, I figured the artist was a perfect chance to try that. So. I don't know if any of you really want to know what I think of this movie, but I'll tell you, I, I'll uh, put it out there. Because most people are just saying, yeah, it's great, it's a good movie, and uh, that's pretty much it. it. It is a good movie. It's uh, The plot, real fast, is a, uh, it, it's a very clever uh, plot when you get down to it. It's a silent film about how silent films are going into uh, sound and how they're, you can hear people talk and so forth. Um... But the angle this takes that I realized I don't think any film has done yet is the impact it has on a lot of the actors because a lot of actors could not make the transition into talking films and it ruined a lot of careers. I mean, some people made it fine, you know, uh, especially the comedians like uh, Chaplin may have fine and the uh, uh, Three Stooges may have fine. Uh, but there's a lot of actors that could not, particularly the serious actors, uh, had a very rough time making that transition. And this film is about that. Uh, and it's done well. It's done very much in that silent film uh, uh, style and storytelling. And it, it is very clever. The main actor is uh, uh, very entertaining. He has this great smile. It reminds me a lot of Phil Hartman, actually. He has sort of that similar smile. Um, the uh, actress that they got, who sort of becomes bigger than him, uh, was very entertaining as well, and uh, she was a lot of fun. Uh, and I like the fact that they sort of... The, the actress in this movie starts to get a little bigger than him in terms of fame, and they sort of play on when it starts to go to her head a little bit, but it's like, that's not it. It doesn't stop there. It's like she's more of a human being than just that, because a lot of people, they have it that they get big, and then they're just snobby, and then they, throughout the movie, they learn that lesson, like, that's all there was that character, but I like the fact they really made this character that, uh, you know, she was on her high horse for a bit, but she was very quickly knocked down, and I think that does happen, I mean, people can learn their lessons very quickly, and I like the fact that they do sort of uh, reference that, and how they address it. Uh, you know, when she sort of knocked down the high horse, I thought well, it was very effective. It was very smart. Um, I'm trying to think outside of that. It, it's such a basic story. Um, sort of the, you know, rags to riches, back to rags. Um, although this one, he's already famous, so maybe just riches to rags. Um, and it, it's, it's clever, it's funny, it's smart, it's dramatic. Uh, a lot of the dramatic moments actually are very effective, despite the fact that, you know, it's supposed to be a little over the top, you know, like a silent film is. Um, trying to think what else. The use of sound in this movie... Here, here's what I thought they were going to do. I thought maybe this would have been more clever. I wouldn't mind seeing a film that tries this. There actually is a little bit of talking in this movie, a little bit of sound. And what I thought they were going to do was I thought that as talking films came into production and were getting bigger and bigger and this actor is getting tossed more and more to the side, I thought the world around him was going to start literally talking, like using their voices, and he was going to remain silent because he couldn't make the transition. That would be awesome. I love to see a film that tries that. Sort of like what Pleasantville did with the colors and the black and white. Uh, I was sort of hoping they go that route, but then it's like, it's just sort of a dream, and there's a little talking at the end, and it works, it's good, I mean, but it's like, oh, I, I wanted to see that, but I, I'm one of those jerks that always says, oh, would it be cool if they did that, and it's, it's not what I'm reviewing, reviewing what it is, and for what it is, it's a good movie, it's, uh, it's sort of what you think it's gonna be, but it's still addressing an issue that I don't know if many films have really talked about before. Like I said, I mean, there have been several films I've seen in the rain talking about going from silent films to talking films, but not one like this where it shows just what a negative impact it did have on a lot of people, too. So, um, yeah, I definitely really enjoyed it. I thought it was a, a lot of fun. And, um, yeah, if it looks like something you enjoy, go see it. I think the only people that wouldn't like it, maybe the people that can sort of see the plot coming and just aren't, interest in that kind of story, uh, 
but it is told in sort of a different way. So it, it's a little bit more of the style, but the story's decent. It's just, we, we've kind of seen it, but it's it's still about a subject that hasn't been talked about uh, in this way. Um... And I guess other people, maybe people just don't like silent films. But I think even a lot of people that don't like silent films would find themselves surprisingly sort of getting into this. So that's really about it in terms of who I think probably wouldn't like it. I, I think a lot of people would enjoy it because it is kind of universal. Uh, you can dub it in any language because you can just put whatever language you want in the uh, title card. So uh, I can see why it's doing so well and why so many people like it. And it, it's a decent movie. So if you want to see a really creative, really different kind of film, uh, go check out The Artist. And that's it. Take care.